بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh Ramadan Mubarak again May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our siyam and our qiyam I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless to bless our Ramadan and give us tawfiq inshaAllah and open our hearts and our minds to receive the blessings of Ramadan inshaAllah ta'ala <coughs> Starting from tonight inshaAllah I will be with you every other night, inshallah ta'ala, uh, uh, specifically Sundays, uh, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, inshallah, and every single night, inshallah, we'll be discussing the fiqh of Ramadan. We will be discussing, inshallah ta'ala, the fiqh of Ramadan, rulings with regards to the matters of Ramadan, such as taraweeh, such as fasting. Uh, excuse for breaking the fast, uh, pregnant women and breastfeeding women, uh, traveling ones, sickness, which type of sickness allow the mu'min or the Muslim to break the fast, how we make up for Ramadan, and also if uh, per, uh, our elderly, what, do they, what should they do for Ramadan, the fidya, the rulings upon the fidya, also zakat al-fitr. Inshallah, we'll be discussing all these matters uh, uh, every single khatira uh, inshallah for only 15 minutes inshallah so today we'll be starting with the taraweeh the rulings upon or the rulings of taraweeh brothers and sisters <coughs> you know there are uh, many matters uh, with regards to salat taraweeh however since um, Muslims uh, are going through what they are going through right now with this coronavirus and the lockdown home. So there are matters to be emphasized, inshallah ta'ala. So it is very clear that people cannot come to the masajid. <clears throat> and we are going to start with this. Is it a condition for Salat Taraweeh to be performed in the masajid? The answer is not. The answer is not Salat Taraweeh can be performed in Jama'ah together and can be performed also individually home and can be performed Jama'ah at home. So Salat Taraweeh doesn't have to be Jama'ah. As a matter of fact, if we have mashallah, strong faith and Iman, it is sometimes better to be done uh, home individually so you can enjoy being alone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the first question is Salat Taraweeh doesn't have to be performed in Jama'ah, nor uh, it has to be performed in the Masjid. The second thing with regards to the Salat Taraweeh, especially with what's going on right now, is can we, because we are praying home, and most of us don't know Arabic language, and don't know, uh, don't understand Arabic language, so the question arises is, can we make dua in our salawat in other than Arabic language? In Urdu, in English, in Pashto, in whatever language uh, the person speaks. The answer is, the ulama have differed with regards to this issue. Some the ulama highly uh, recommends and they really encourage us to use only Arabic language in salat. But the, the, the reality here is we have to differentiate between two things in Salat. There are certain things in Salat must be said in Arabic language and only, such as reading Surah Al-Fatiha in Arabic, such as the adhkar that, are, that should be said in every single Salat, like Allahu Akbar, Subhan Rabbi Al-A'la, Subhan Rabbi al Azim. All these adhkar, adhkar must be said in Arabic language. If the person doesn't know, must learn it. However, uh, General dua in salat, for example, salat dua in the sujood uh, after saying Subhan Rabbi al A'la. Can we say dua in English? Also, dua al Qunut. Usually, we do dua al Qunut together and we are whole here in the masjid together. And usually, the Imam says a dua and we say Ameen after the Imam. Now, since we are praying home, we don't memorize that much adaya in Arabic language, and even if we do memorize, we don't know the meaning of it. And uh, so, can we make this dua in English or in uh, Urdu or whatever language we speak? 
So the answer to this question, yes. It is preferred to be in Arabic and it's highly recommended for us to learn Arabic. However, if we don't know Arabic language, it is okay, brothers and sisters, to say the dua in the sujood, in dua al qunut to say it in English. That's fine, or whatever language you speak. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He's the one who created our tongues, our languages. And He subhanahu wa ta'ala hears and understands all the tongues and languages. So subhanahu wa ta'ala he said وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ خَلْقُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَاخْتِلَافُ أَلْسِنَتِكُمْ وَأَلْوَانِكُمْ Among his miracles and signs uh, of, of lordship subhanahu wa ta'ala that he created us in different colors with different tongues and languages. So brothers and sisters you can use your own language as long as you enjoy the dua with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You feel connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You don't have to say something in other than your tongue if you don't feel connected. The heart of the dua, brothers and sisters, is to connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to feel humiliated, to, to share your needs, your concerns, your, 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 uh, your humbleness, show your humbleness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if you, if you say, memorize something in Arabic, and you don't understand anything what you are saying, sometimes it's better to say it in English or whatever language you speak. So the dua, brothers and sisters, other than, as I said, the, the things that must be said in Arabic, you can say dua al-qunut, dua in your sujood, it can be said in your own language, and that's inshallah fine. However, if we learn Arabic language as we go, and we understand the ad'iyah in Arabic language, that will be much better inshallah ta'ala. If this is inside the Salat allowed, of course outside of Salat it is, it is more clear, obvious, that it is allowed to make dua in other than Arabic language. As I said, I still emphasize if we can learn. However, meanwhile, until we learn, it is okay to learn, to, to use your own language in making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the first thing we discuss is, Salat Tarawih doesn't have to be performed jama'ah, nor to be performed in the masjid. Yes, that's the sunnah, but it is not a condition. It can be prayed wherever you are, however you are. <clears throat> the second thing, dua can be said in other than Arabic language. What we said, brothers and sisters, the heart of the dua is to feel connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if that connection happens with Urdu or Pashto or English, or whatever you speak, language you speak, that's completely fine, inshallah ta'ala. The third point we want to share with you today with regards to Salat Taraweeh is reading from the Mus'haf. Can we open the Mus'haf and read in our Salat since we don't memorize the Quran al-Kareem? Before I answer this question, brothers and sisters, I want to tell you it is not a condition for you to read, to complete the entire Quran in Salat Taraweeh. It is not a condition. You can pray whatever you can, you can pick and choose from this surah, from that surah. It is not an, an, a mandatory to read the Quran from the beginning until the end in order in Salat Taraweeh. This is a sunnah while uh, uh, when Abu Abdul Khattab radiallahu anhu gathered the Sahaba with one Allah alayhim to pray Salat Taraweeh, that was the practice, the Quran to be completed. However, this is a sunnah. If you can do it, that is very beautiful, mashallah. If we cannot do it, that's fine. We can, we can. Uh, read, uh, we can read wherever from wherever we memorize or what, where, whatever we know from the Mus'haf al Sharif. However, the question is can we read from the Mus'haf? Yes, we can read from the Mus'haf uh, as long as we don't. Uh, uh, I'm talking about Salat Taraweeh, not Salat al Fard, brothers and sisters. Salat Taraweeh, we can open the Mus'haf, we can read from the Mus'haf. As long as we minimize our movements, actions in Salat as much as we can. So we don't open Salat and start looking for the page and then put it. So try to minimize the harakat, the movements in Salat as much as you can. For example, there is now you can buy stand in Salat and open the Mus'haf before you start Salat. Put the Mus'haf next to the Qibla and then say Allahu Akbar and you are reading from the Mus'haf. Okay, when you go to Ruku or Sujood, the Mus'haf is still there in honored 
honorable place, not being damaged or put on the ground, nor the kids playing with it, nor opening the mushaf or closing the mushaf or looking in the, uh, the page. So minimize the harakat movement, movements in salat as much as you can. Some people ask, can we do the screen? Can I have the screen next to the qibla and the, the, the face of the mushaf opened? Yes, th that, that's possible as well. <clears throat> Lastly, brothers and sisters, <clears throat> we want to discuss. So first of all, we discuss the the jama'a uh, and masjid for salat tarawih. It is not a condition. Number two, Arabic language in dua is not a condition. Number three, reading entire Quran in salat tarawih not a condition. Number four, can we read from the mushaf in salat tarawih? The answer is yes. Number six, what is the kafiya what is the what, what is the way how can we perform salat tarawih what is the kafiya uh, the way that salat tarawih should be performed and nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam in his life brothers and sisters he used to pray 11 or 13 rak'ah that's the max that nabi sallam used to pray of course when we say 11 or 13 rak'ah sallallahu alayhi wasallam he used to pray a very, very, very long salat, long dua, long qira'ah. In one rak'ah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he used to read al-Baqarah and Ali Imran and the nisa in one rak'ah. You can imagine one-sixth of the Qur'an would be read in one rak'ah only during the life of Rasulullah sallallahu Of course, he used to pray individually. Now, this is the sunnah. Now, if you want to pray more, that's fine. It is not, you don't have to stick to that number. However, I just want you to differentiate between al-witr and salat tarawih. So salat tarawih is two rak'ah, and then you say salam, and then you add two rak'ah, and then you say salam, and then you add two rak'ah, and you say salam, and then you add two rak'ah, and you say salam, total will be eight. This is how Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to perform salat tarawih, then pray three rak'ah of witr. And sometimes he used to pray ten, and then add uh, three rak'ah of witr and then will be 13. So this is why I said either 11 or 13. So you can pray two rak'ah of salat tarawih and then pray salat al-witr, three rak'ah. The total will be five. You can pray uh, four rak'ah of salat tarawih and then pray salat al-witr, three rak'ah. The total will be seven and that's fine. You can pray six rak'ah of salat tarawih and then pray three rak'ah of Salat al-Witr and then will be nine and that's completely fine. You can also pray eight rak'ah of Salat tarawih and then three rak'ah of al-Witr that will be 11 and that's the Sunnah. This is the most uh, practiced Sunnah by Rasulullah Wasallam. Also you can pray 10 rak'ah of Salat tarawih and then add three rak'ah of Salat al-Witr and that the total will be 13. Also that is practiced by Rasulullah Wasallam once a while. So short, short answer to the way how we perform Salat Tarawih, you can pray two and two, two as much as you can. And then when you want to conclude your Salat, pray three rak'at of Salat Al-Witr. You can pray three rak'at of Salat Al-Witr. And Salat Al-Witr can be performed two rak'at, say Salam, and then add one rak'at, or you can pray it as you pray Salat Al-Maghrib. Both are uh, authentic uh, ways of praying Salat Al-Witr, brothers and sisters. Now, lastly, do we have to pray Salat Tarawih all together, all at once, or we can, 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 we, can we differentiate it over the night? Of course, we can differentiate over the night. You can pray four rak'at after Salat Al-Isha, and then go have a rest, sleep a little bit, and wake up before Salat Al-Fajr, pray again, and then have Suhoor. So you can differentiate Salat Tarawih over the night. You don't have to pray all at once. Salat Tarawih called Salat Tarawih because there is a rest in between. They, they, this is why it's called Salat Tarawih in Arabic language. A tarawih, which means to have a raha in between. A raha, which means the resting in between. So it's called Salat Tarawih because there is some rest in between the Salat. So all uh, these are the matters of Salat Tarawih, brothers and sisters. If you have questions, and that applies for every night, inshallah ta'ala, you can post your questions and then I will answer them the next uh, khatira I have with you, inshallah. If you have questions with regards to Salat Tarawih, uh, you can post them and I will answer them, inshallah, the next uh, uh, khatira. Lastly, brothers and sisters, before I leave you, now I explain to you rulings, fiqh of Salat Tarawih. 
Now, what is being practiced in our masjid? Uh, that we live stream some of the Salat al and then we don't live stream uh, most of it so we can, you can pray home. Uh, uh, some people are getting confused. Uh, some people don't know what to do while we are praying. When we live stream uh, the part of Salat al or al that we, when we do that, we don't mean to follow it. Just we want you to listen to recitation and when we make dua in the qunut to say ameen after the dua and to feel connected with the masjid. However, you perform salat taraweeh during the break. After, for example, now after I finish the khatira, we are going to live stream the first two of salat taraweeh. Then we give you half an hour to pray your own salat taraweeh, including witr if that's possible. So these live streams are not meant to follow the imam. I know that there are scholars over there who gave the fatwa, brothers and sisters, to you can follow the imam uh, through live stream. This is a very respected scholars and we respect their fatwa. And as you know, brothers and sisters, we are going through very, very unique circumstances. What's going right now, it never happened in the history. This is why ulama are dealing with this issue as something from contemporary issues, nazila. Nazila. This is why ulama have differed. Some scholars and the majority of scholars, and we believe this is the, the stand, this is our, our masjid stand, that Salat Taraweeh cannot be performed, even if it is nafila, cannot be performed through live stream. The alternative is to be prayed at home. Some scholars, they said people don't know Arabic language, people uh, feel disconnected from masjid, let's allow them to, to, uh, to pray Salat Taraweeh following the Imam, even through live stream, and they put conditions for that. It must be the masjid of your neighborhood, must be closed, and they put condition. I don't believe this is the right fatwa. I do respect these scholars, but brother, brothers and sisters, not coming to, to, to the masjid, not the end of the world. You can pray Salat Taraweeh at home as we explained uh, a while ago. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our siyam and our qiyam brothers and sisters. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with the knowledge and the barakat of Ramadan. Jazakumullah khair. And now inshallah we'll be praying the, the first turqa in a couple of minutes. The first turqa of Salat Taraweeh. <coughs> yes, inshallah ta'ala just um, um, uh, one minute of break and then we'll be coming to pray Salat, the first turqa of Salat Taraweeh. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.